Hi everybody, it's Erica from MeSoup.net and I'm here today to show you an activity. It's kind of like a back to school activity. This is not a book buddies activity, so there's no book today that goes with it. But I just want to show you something I found off the Scholastic website, you know, the book company Scholastic. They have an idea um, for moms to keep or for kids to keep to be able to look at. It's called Binders Keepers. And all you need is a binder. This one is probably a one and a half. You might want to even get a two or um, three inch bigger binder if you're going to be collecting a lot of work depending on what grade your child is in. Um, it's just to keep their work in throughout the year and then you can just put it on the shelf and you can label whose stuff it is and what year. Because my sister has two boys and she said that a lot of the problem is deciding what to keep and where to keep it without getting it messed up. So Scholastic came up with a really great idea called Binders Keepers. And what you can do is, with these great binders, you can always um, take out the inserts. This is just a piece of cardstock that I have. You can use just a regular piece of paper um, and take some cutouts. Frogs are my favorite, so I have lots of cutouts of frogs. And you can just simply do that and put Gabriel's artwork or Gabriel's work, preschool. Um, or you can take original arts of work and put them in there instead. And your child can have a really great time decorating their own thing. This is one of Gabriel's works of art. And then you can just put that in there. And then I know that this binder is his and I would just label here on the side, Gabriel's works of art, 2009. Um, and what you want to do is inside your binder get page protectors, just those clear plastic page protectors. You can also get pieces of colored paper to separate or use as dividers or even get dividers to by month if you have lots of work you're keeping or not. And um, you can also print out tons of free coloring sheets. If your child doesn't feel like creating anything original, you can always just copy and print one out. And a word about keeping work. As a teacher, the things that I find most important um, are original arts of work or original handwriting. This is from one of my students in 07, and this is one of the first times that we had a handwriting activity. And I think that these kind um, of assignments and work are the best to keep. There's, you know, great things like tracing, but that's not original and... I mean, depending if it's your child's first, you may want to keep it. I'm not saying don't keep any of your child's work, but I'm just saying to cut down on the amount because a lot of us teachers, we do a lot of stuff and we send a lot of stuff home with you guys. And this is just another activity that I would keep, you know, the first time for them drawing shapes independently. And it's really great to keep and look at the beginning of the year and then look at the end of the year and compare the two and see the progress that your child has made. So that's a little bit about binders keepers and so if it's something that's bigger than my page protector in my binder I would just do like I did and fold it up and always make sure to date everything you do because your child may not know how to write the date yet so make sure you always put the date on and I would just slip it in there and it's got the date on it and it fits right in my binder and that way you can just keep their work and then put it on the shelf so you don't have tons of papers everywhere. And then when your child gets older, they can just take out their binder from the preschool year, from the kindergarten year, and look at stuff that they did. You can put progress reports in here. You can put report cards in here, certificates that they did, perfect attendance awards. Anything can go in here. So binders keepers, things scholastic. It's awesome. One more thing I was going to have, um, I just wanted to tell you. When you get these little magnets, that you don't know what to do with. Um, some people use business cards or from realtors, anything that you might not need. Um, I reuse them, so it's a great thing. Um, somewhere you can put your child's artwork is have them trace their hand and color it or stamp it or paint it or do something like that. And you can place the magnet on the back and put your child's name across their hand and put it on the fridge so they can show this is where my artwork goes and you can pick one picture a week and your child can hang it on the refrigerator using their own hand with a magnet on the back. It's really sweet and it's a great idea. I think I think all my ideas are great. 
but um, and actually they're not all my ideas but I tell you where I get them so that's the important thing if you like them you can either get them from my site or I'll send you to the site where I got the idea so thank you guys for watching today and I'm hoping to be back next week with my sister and do another stamping activity because it'll be really fun um, I think it'll be fun so thanks again and leave a comment let me know did you like this activity were you able to do it and if you have any other questions just feel free to ask and I'll tell you where I got it okay thank you bye